up everybody welcome back to another video this is nord trades we are here with episode two season one of the 25k to 100k challenge so ever since the last video where i had that big win uh obviously there was previous uh plays to that but they were on my instagram page instead of my youtube channel um you know I didn't record every day after because I feel like that it would get boring if I only recorded like, you know, one day play, then another day play, then another day play. So I'm going to do it every couple of days so you can see my progress literally like every three days, every four days. Um, and then I'll make a, a video of all four days, talk about what happened each day. Why did I take this loss? Why did I take this gain? Uh, and then we'll go from there so that it's not boring for you guys in that so that you can get as educated as possible instead of making one you know, a little video about uh, some gains that I had. So let's talk about what happened since the last time we made a video. So on episode one, we talked about that 13000 almost $14,000 profit uh, the day right after uh, we took an $8,000 loss. So uh, as you can see, uh, our, we went from, I believe, like $48,000, uh, I don't remember what it was in the last video. Uh, to 40,000 this was the day after so you can go by dates and look at last time it was June 1st when we made the first uh, video uh, and then the second day so look I, I screenshot every day and I post on this page so uh, this is the loss that I took uh, it's not gonna focus so it was an $8,000 loss uh, and then the day right after we took a it's not gonna focus hold up there we go. We took a $990 uh, win. And then, as you can see right here, so $8,000 loss happened the day after we were up $13,000. Then we took a $900 to $1,000 gain that day. And then the day after, we made $3,296. So that's how we jumped here. So this is it. $3,296. dollars and then the day after i believe we made three thousand three hundred and seventy four dollars uh i think that was yesterday yep that was yesterday so that was the last day of the week where we made three thousand three hundred and seventy four dollars so what happened was we basically got back to where we were at the beginning of the week which was monday when we were up uh thirteen thousand for the week uh right off of the first day of the week so we took the 8k loss and then we were only up uh, let's just say you know four or five K for the week and then we had to gain those losses back even though you know it was still part of the profit so uh, for the week we were up about let's just say 12,000 uh, I think we were a thousand off of the highs that we were on Monday when we were up 13,000 on episode one so yeah let's talk about what happened uh, especially on that big 8k loss so what we're gonna do is look at it so let's go to the five day thing here uh, and we'll see what was wrong there. So what happened exactly? Uh, so this was Monday of Tesla, and then this was Tuesday. This was the day we took the AK loss. What exactly happened here? Uh, so as you can see, Tesla made a move uh, from 893 all the way up above 900. And you know, 900, 904 is my resistance level. Uh, so that looked good to me. And I feel like I didn't do too much wrong in this position because, you know, there's dumb moves you can make in the market, which you're like, oh, I should have looked at this. Well, I should have looked at that. Uh, and then there's just losses that uh, that was just like, oh, man, I couldn't have done anything better. The only thing I could have had done better is not be as, as, as aggressive on that move. So the reason I'm taking a big loss is because obviously I'm being aggressive. I'm playing with a smaller account than I usually do. So I took out you know, all the money that I had in this account and left the 25 in here and transferred it to my other account. Uh, so I'm being aggressive. That's just me being aggressive with this account to have fun with this challenge. Obviously, it's not the brightest or smartest thing to do as your own investor, as you know, as an investor or a day trader, because you want to be safe, obviously. So me being aggressive, I got in pretty heavily. Uh, honestly, it wasn't even that crazy of heavy it was just i think i was in with like 25 30k uh it is obviously heavy for the account but uh but yeah we already know that i was going to be aggressive i talked about that during this challenge uh and then i was like okay this looks good i get in 
and then boom as you can see this big candle from 908 all the way down to 894 it was literally even though this is on the five minute on the one minute it was just like that one big candle and one big candle uh down it wasn't and it never came back up so i probably ended up selling around this area like 896 897 uh it just happened way too quick uh so that was the loss that i took this week on tesla and that's why my account pulled pulled back uh pretty heavily even though i was still up for the week i could have been up 13k for the week it pulled my account down uh and i was only up like four 5k for the week so that kind of sucks so that was see, that was uh my big loss uh and then the second day i only made a thousand because i lost so much money the day before i was like ah, let me be a little safer here uh let me not be too aggressive um and then uh and then i only made 990 dollars so what did i make 990 dollars on uh it was just ba uh ba wednesday so uh this was June 2nd, Hold up. so this was the 9K loss, I mean the 8K loss here, and then June 3rd, so June 3rd was right here. So I caught BA here on the uptrend, BA has actually been on pretty, pretty, you know, it was, it's been on fire. So this week it's actually from 104 all the way to 219 high here, so it's a pretty big pop here for BA. The market's actually recovering pretty nicely, only like 5% from highs now, which is pretty insane. Uh, so you have BA we caught BA on the break here uh, and the break was the 170 level I believe yes yeah, so it was the 170 level of BA only made 900 bucks because I scalped it I was afraid because of the day before and then we had Amazon uh, here on Thursday as you can see Amazon ripped so uh, Amazon pushed that open pulled back and then I got back on the re-entry when I made a new high and held to around 2500 because it was struggling around that 2500 level and then got out and that was my only play I believe that day uh, as well as BYND we had BYND so we made 1700 on Amazon here uh, because it had a nice push and then the market ended up pulling back Amazon pulled back pretty heavily and then BYND um, usually catches crazy momentum sometimes so uh, BYND ended up breaking my resistance at this 138 ish level uh, as you can see it got rejected here so i realized that my resistance looks like it's pretty accurate uh and then it ended up retrying it and it broke through so as you can see check the volume out over here uh got rejected you got volume 65 84 and then it broke when it with 534k that's on the five minute of course uh and that's how i knew my resistance was correct so i caught the the break here made 1800 bucks on that made 1670 on amazon uh, and lost 320 on Tesla that day on some little scalp that I was playing with. But that was the ma that was the major uh, you know plays of that day. Uh, that was BYND and Amazon. Now Friday, what did I make on Friday? I made 3,374 3, bucks, as you can see right here. Uh, and I made it on BA. So I do remember this play too. Uh, BA. It was stagnant all morning as you can see look at the time up here the times up here uh it was stagnant 9 30 all the way to 10 35 so that's an hour into the market and the stock is just stagnant up down up down up down pretty flat uh and it finally broke resistance here at this 205 level that i was waiting for because that was the high it made in the morning uh it broke 205 got in held it to around 208 got out around here so i got in on this candle and held to this candle and as you can see I missed that on a lot left around 30k on the table uh, probably more uh, till this point so you know you're not gonna catch all of it but I caught some of it so that was the big play on Friday that I made 3,479 honestly I wasn't even gonna trade on Friday after I saw BA flat because I had that planned out it was either BA or um, Tesla ever broke 900 again uh, and none of them Tesla was too far away and BA was honestly uh, just flat. So I thought it just wasn't gonna happen here. So uh, BA, caught BA on Friday and that was my week. So finished the week about 12K in profit, I believe. Uh, we were 1K off, so yeah, about 12K in profit. Uh, and I also had my biggest loss this week uh, because I was being too aggressive. So yeah, if you like this video, I'm gonna keep doing this every three days, I'll put it together. Maybe I'll do one day if I take like a big W or big L uh, and I'll just talk about that so that we could 
either fix the mistakes or talk about what we could have done better or how did we come up with a big W. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what I could add to these videos so that you guys can enjoy or educate uh, you know, a little bit better. So if you like this video, let me know down below. I'll see you guys. Peace.